our uh, study of complex analysis and uh, today I plan to uh, inform you, tell you about uh, generalized Cauchy's integral formula. Uh, of course, before I do that, I had promised I will uh, illustrate uh, Cauchy's integral formula with several examples and uh, that is what I will do now. Mm. Before that, let us recall very quickly what we have done till now. We have studied Cauchy's theorem which says that uh, if f is analytic at all points inside and on a simple closed curve C, here is a close simple closed curve C and if f is analytic everywhere inside and on C, then integral of fz dz over that curve C is 0. In this figure, f is a function, analytic function defined over whole of, whole of R. I am interested in f being defined and being analytic inside and on C. That was Cauchy's uh, <coughs> theorem and then Cauchy's integral formula said if uh, f is an analytic function within and on a simple closed curve C like the previous case and a is any point inside C then integral of fz by z minus a is defined by uh, is uh, fixed by value of f at a. So, the form we saw last time was f a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral f z by z minus a dz. Please try to recall or understand in a greater detail f z by z minus a is not analytic everywhere in c. In fact, it everywhere inside c. In fact, it is not even defined everywhere on c, everywhere inside c because z equal to a is a point inside c. So, in that point this function is not even defined. I want only holomorphicity or analyticity of the numerator of the integrand. The numerator of the integrand which is fz, I want it to be analytic inside and on c. Then integral of fz by z minus a over c is equal to 2 pi i times fa. This is how we will mostly use this formula. Somebody will uh, normally you will be asked to evaluate this integral and the uh, shortcut method to integrate this is to find the value of f at whatever point this point a multiplied by 2 pi i you get integral of this function uh, over c. So, let us see one example. Uh, so, here we have seen some elementary examples last time. Today, I will uh, try to show you slightly more complicated uh, examples slightly more involved, not very difficult, but slightly more involved. So, here is the question, evaluate uh, integral of e power 2z by z plus 1 into z minus 2 dz, where c is the circle mod z equal to 3. <coughs> mod z equal to 3 uh, means c is the circle centered at 0 with radius 3. Mod z equal to 3 means all complex numbers whose mod absolute value is 3, which means they are all the complex numbers which are at a distance 3 from origin, which means it is a circle centered at 0 and radius 3. And the figure looks like this. Uh, I will use GeoGebra and show you this figure. Probably I should have kept this ready before I started the lecture. I forgot. But in any case, so what we want to do is I want to draw this figure which is the figure c is the circle mod z equal to 3 and then i want to see positioning of these two points regarding with respect to that uh, circle that is what i want to do so just give me one minute i will try to put it in a way where it's easier to follow yeah yeah here we are so you want to find this circle C which is mod z equal to 3 and I want to see these two points uh, z uh, you know minus 1 and 2 here it is plus 1 and minus 2 but I told you this uh, formula is z minus a correct denominator is z minus a so z minus minus 1 z minus 2 so a is minus 1 and 2 are the important points for me so I want to see those two with respect to this mod z equal to 3. So, mod z equal to 3, let us draw this circle, uh, circle centered at 0 
and uh, one of the points on the circumference is 3 so this is the circle and I am interested in points minus 1 and 2 so minus 1 is uh, here <coughs> this is where minus 1 is and this is where 2 is please note that both of them are inside this circle So let me go back. So figure looks like that. So minus 1 and 2 both are inside the circle C. Uh, both are inside the circle C. What is the upshot of that? This function, this whole function e power 2z divided by z plus 1 and to z minus 2. These are clearly not defined at minus 1 and 2. Means if I take z equal to minus 1 denominator becomes 0. So then this function doesn't make sense. So we don't know what to do with the integral. Similarly, at z equal to 2, this function is not defined. This function means e power 2z by z plus 1 into z minus 2 is not defined. So, uh, but I want to apply Cauchy's integral formula in this case. I am trying to illustrate how to use Cauchy's integral formula in this kind of problem. So, minus 1 and 2 both are inside C. So, what I do is, I will resolve, uh, if I want to apply Cauchy's integral formula, I want denominator to have only uh, expressions of the type z minus a I don't want uh, z minus a into z minus b here you see they have two terms quadratic term I don't want that I want just a linear term so what I should do is I want I want to rewrite this integral in such a way that denominator will have only linear terms so how do I do that this is something which you have done in your pre-university courses also uh, if you want to integrate this you break it up into resolve, uh, resolve this into uh, partial fractions so how do I do that I will not write too much details about partial fractions uh, later but initially I will just try to recall how a given integral given a fraction is broken up into resolved into partial fractions so here in this particular case I am interested in I am not bothered about e power 2 z here I'm mostly I'm interested in 1 by z plus 1 into z minus 2 afterwards I'll multiply by e power 2z so 1 by z plus 1 into z minus 2 I'll write it as a plus a by z plus 1 plus b by z minus 2 I want to find out values for a and b so that this is true this means this equality is true so how do I do that clear up denominators multiply the whole thing by z plus 1 into z minus 2 I'll get 1 is equal to a into z minus 2 plus b into z plus 1 put z values for appropriate values for z this is an identity this is true for all values I mean I want to find out values on a of a and b so that this is true this is true for all z so I can take any value of z so put z equal to minus 1 you will see this term will vanish this term will become 0 so I'll get a is equal to minus 1 by 3 and similarly putting z equal to 2 in this if you put z equal to 2 this term will vanish and I'll get here b equal to 1 by 3 so I can write this fraction as 1 by 3 times z minus 2 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by z plus 1 note I have written this term first and then this because of this negative sign that's all <coughs> so now let's get back to our integral integral was integral of e power 2z divided by z plus 1 into z minus 2 dz now I know only this fraction 1 by z plus 1 into z minus 2 is 1 by 3 z minus 2 minus 1 by z plus 1 so I multiply whole thing by e power 2z and write the integral now you see there are two integrals now I break I broken up this original integrand into two parts and I integrate both of them separately how do I do that so I can very easily see that uh, uh, I can use Cauchy's integral formula to evaluate each of the integrals you see Cauchy's integral formula will say fz divided by z minus a dz is 2 pi i times f of a where f is whatever is the numerator if it is holomorphic if it is analytic inside whole of c yeah e power 2z is of course analytic everywhere so in particular um, uh, that's what I have written here fz e, which is e power 2z is analytic everywhere inside c so I can apply Cauchy's integral formula which will tell me that uh, this integral uh, rewritten whatever I wrote here e power 2z by z plus 1 into z minus 2 dz integral is I broken up into two parts and this integral is nothing but 2 pi i times f of 2 a is 2 here if I use Cauchy's integral formula a is 2 here 
and similarly for this a is minus 1 so I have to basically evaluate f of 2 and f of 1 where f is numerator of the integral which is e power 2 z so if you do that you will get this uh, I am sure you can do this I will not write too much yeah z is equal to 2 so e power 2 z is e power 4 and z equal to minus 1 is e power minus 2 and I will get 2 pi i common and 1 by 3 is already there so this is how I integrate you see the crux of the issue is this looks pretty bad to integrate how do you integrate such a horrible looking function e power 2 z divided by z plus 1 into z minus 2 all I had to do was evaluate this function at these two values minus 1 and 2 and just a very simple algebra here uh, so let's see one more example I want to evaluate uh, 1 by z square minus 4 dz over the following curves so here I am going to give you uh, different curves first I want curve to be mod z equal to 1 then I want the curve to be mod z equal to 3 then I want the curve mod z plus 2 equal to 1 so clearly these are three different problems they are not one problem over different curves I have to integrate first I will integrate over this then I will integrate over this then I will integrate over this uh, <coughs> Uh, so, uh, in the usual uh, method, uh, you see the denominator of the integrand is a quadratic expression. That is, there is a term like z square. So, I cannot use Cauchy's integral formula directly. So, I will break it up into, I will resolve it into, resolve this fraction into partial fractions. So, usual method, 1 by z square minus 4 is a by z minus 2 plus b by z plus 2. So, clearing denominators we get this 1 is equal to a into z plus 2 plus b into z minus 2 put z equal to minus 2 a will go and I will get the value of b similarly put z equal to 2 and you will uh, b term is 0 and I will get the value of a to be 1 by 4. So, I have this fraction 1 by z square minus 4 is equal to 1 by 4 times z minus 1 by z minus 2 minus 1 by 4 times 1 by z plus 2. Uh, so, if you take the integration. Uh, integral of left hand side with respect to z is integral of the right hand side with respect to z so I have broken up the integral into two parts for we I want to evaluate both these integrals separately for various c's remember I had uh, let me recall I had all these uh, curves where I had to integrate first one was mod z equal to 1 second one was mod z equal to 3 third one was mod z plus 2 was equal to 1 so I will solve one thing at a time first I will solve this integral for this particular curve mod z equal to 1 so mod z equal to 1 means what <coughs> mod z equal to 1 means it is the uh, circle whose radius is 1 so now I am not interested in these points anymore so I will delete these uh, I am interested in circle of radius 1 so here is circle of radius 1 so let me make it slightly bigger mm. sorry zoom out zoom in So this is mod z equal to 1 and <coughs> points of interest are for me uh, minus 2 and plus 2 see if I want to integrate this I have to see what uh, what happens to value of f which is the numerator is 1 here at z equal to 2 and z equal to minus 2 so I want to see what are the uh, the positioning of z equal to 2 and minus 2 with respect to this curve so z equal to 2 is here z equal to minus 2 is here clearly both the points are outside the uh, circle which I am interested in in this case so <coughs> both 2 and minus 2 are outside C uh, of course you can die I mean you don't need to uh, use uh, GeoGebra to find out this mod z equal to 1 is circle of radius 1 2 and minus 2 are clearly outside uh, distance of 2 and minus 2 from origin is more than 1 so clearly those points are outside mod z equal to 1 so which means uh, this function 1 by 
z minus 2 this itself is analytic everywhere inside and uh, on c c 2 is not contained in mod z equal to 1 so this function is analytic so then i can use cauchy's theorem this function means 1 by z minus 2 that function is analytic inside and on mod z equal to 1 so this integral is 0 by cauchy's theorem and similarly for minus 2 also same story My, uh, since minus 2 is outside 1 by z plus 2 is analytic inside and on mod z equal to 1 so both the integrals are 0 hence their sum is 0 so i just integrated this 1 by z square minus 4 dz over mod z equal to 1 and at one shot i got using cauchy's theorem that both the integrals are 0 and hence the sum is 0 uh, now let us do this same problem for mod z equal to 3 uh, for this how does the function look how does the how do those points look so mod z equal to 3 means i want to mm, consider circle of radius 3 remember mod z equal to 3 means see this is the circle so in this circle related to this circle check what happens to the two points minus 2 and plus 2 both are inside previously my circle was here both minus 2 and plus 2 are outside the circle now my circle has changed i want to integrate along this path so if you want to integrate along this path clearly both minus 2 and 2 have come inside the circle so if they have come inside the circle remember now mod 1 by z minus 2 or 1 by z plus 2 is not well defined everywhere within this circle because that function is clearly not defined uh, so let, let me get back to you so both 2 and minus 2 are inside c so re recall we were trying to find this integral 1 by z square minus 4 over c where c is mod z equal to 3 and uh, that integral by using partial fractions turned out to be this now i see that 1 by z minus 2 this function which i am integrating is not holomorphic here it's not uh, analytic inside mod z equal to 3 because at z equal to 2 which is inside this circle this function is not even well defined same story for this also at z equal to minus 2 this function is not well defined and that point happens to be within this circle so integrants are that's what i meant by saying integrants are not analytic inside c so we'll use cauchy's integral formula because i can now take fz equal to 1 this numerator of you see the integral integrand is not analytic inside c so in that case and then the denominator is a linear term z minus a so i can compare it with cauchy's integral formula which says if i compare this with cauchy's integral formula i'll see the numerator is one that is fz equal to one uh, so cauchy's integral formula says this is what the statement of cauchy's integral formula is fz divided by z minus a dz is equal to 2 pi times f a if f is analytic inside c f is here is one constant function so definitely it is um, uh, analytic so in particular this is what i want to find f z divided by z minus 2 see first integral is integral 1 by z minus 2 so f z by 1 minus z with f z equal to 1 so if f z equal to 1 means f 2 is 1 so i get this integral of fz by z minus 2 is 2 pi i similarly you can see fz by z plus 2 is also 2 pi i because this is 2 pi i times f of minus 2 here i have to write it in the form z minus a remember my z minus minus 2 so i'll get 2 pi i now uh, my statement was that integral of 1 by z plus 2 into z minus 2 integral of this with respect to z is 1 by 4 times this minus 1 by 4 times this both these are equal so it will become 0 so uh, i integrated this with respect to second contour also with respect to z on along second contour which was second path second circle which was mod z equal to 3 now let us consider the last case which says i want to integrate the same function along mod z plus 2 equal to 1 uh, this is uh, what is mod z plus 2 equal to 1 uh, remember z minus mod z minus a equal to r is uh, a circle which is centered at a and uh, radius r so in this particular case this is i want all the points which are at a distance 1 from minus 2 
so that means this is a circle with radius 1 centered at minus 2 so the figure looks like this so let us go over to the figure so what was that mm, it's a circle with radius 1 centered at minus 2 correct so uh, radius 1 centered at minus 2 so I don't want centered at minus 1 radius 2 so I want to draw that centered at minus 1 radius is 2 so 2 means it will uh, was this correct let us check this centered at minus 2 and radius 1 sorry centered at minus 2 so this should be at minus 2 uh, sorry then I should not centered at minus 2 and radius 1 this is what it is yeah this is the circle and uh, uh, I am interested in the two points uh, which are the two points I am interested in here uh, minus 2 and 2 that's because they are the ones which are in the denominator of the my integral uh, so minus 2 and 2 you see minus 2 is of course the center of the circle and 2 is somewhere here which is clearly outside the circle 2 is somewhere here why somewhere it is there so minus 2 is inside the circle and 2 is outside the circle so that is what I mean you can either you don't have to use GeoGebra for this again you can just see from direct computation that uh, minus 2 is of course the center of the circle so definitely minus 2 is inside circle and 2 is if you put 2 here 2 plus 2 is it equal to 2 2 plus 2 is 4 or mod 4 is definitely 4 which is not equal to 1 uh, which is much which is larger than 1 so 2 lies outside the circle this is the point which you need to carefully follow which of the points are inside the circle which of the points are outside the circle so recall we were trying to integrate this mod uh, uh, dz by z square minus 1 over the square mod z plus 2 equal to 1 we it turned out to be equal to 1 by 4 times this integral so uh, 2 is outside the circle so 1 by z minus 2 is analytic inside this circle recall I showed you here 2 is outside the circle so z minus 1 by z minus 2 is analytic all over here because 1 by z minus 2 is not defined only at z equal to 2 but z equal to 2 is outside this circle so within this circle and on the circle 1 by z minus 2 is well defined and indeed it is uh, analytic so then I can use Cauchy's theorem and tell you that 1 by uh, z minus 2 its integral is 0 for the second one this integral so this integral turned out to be 0 Mm, for this integral you see this is not analytic 1 by z plus 2 is not analytic because it is not defined at z equal to minus 2 and z equal to minus 2 is indeed inside this circle so I cannot use Cauchy's theorem directly but I can use Cauchy's integral formula here because denominator has only one uh, linear term and fz is 1 here in this case numerator of the integrand so that is 1 uh, 1 is of course under constant function so hence it is analytic <coughs> so I'll use Cauchy's integral formula for this evaluate this integral uh, that will tell me that 1 by z plus 2 integral of 1 by z plus 2 dz is 2 pi i times f of minus 2 f of z is 1 here so f of minus 2 is 1 so I get 2 pi i and uh, finally integral of z square minus c over the c is mod z plus 1 equal to 2 I get this is what I have seen by partial tractions and this is 0 and this is 2 pi i so you evaluate this you get whatever I have written here minus pi over 2 I hope I have done it correctly because just check this numerics now there is another formula which is very useful 
this is uh, for useful for evaluating integrals e, uh, that is called generalized cauchy's integral formula obviously by very name it generalizes integral cauchy's integral formula and this is the statement if uh, fz is analytic on a simple closed curve c let a be a point inside c then nth uh, nth derivative of f at a is equal to n factorial by 2 pi i integral of fz by z minus a whole to the power of n plus 1 dz where fn stands for nth derivative of f yeah don't worry first time when i saw this formula i was also very scared I and mean, it looks pretty bad but it is very useful don't worry it, and you can see the how it is generalizing uh, cauchy's formula cauchy's integral formula because cauchy's integral formula is for n equal to 0 if i put n equal to 0 in this i'll get z minus a whole power 1 which is what is cauchy's integral formula 0 factorial is 1 and 0 f of 0 means f of a i mean f 0 derivative of f means f itself so i will get f of a where f of 0 of a that means 0 derivative of f is same as f so uh, this n equal to 0 will give you a special case e will give you cauchy's integral formula so as you saw assumptions for this statement is same as cauchy's integral formula fz is analytic inside and on the simple closed curve c and a is a point inside uh, that curve that uh, contour on which we are integrating to evaluate the integral one needs to evaluate the value of nth derivative of f at a uh, so only difference is in my cauchy's integral formula here i had z minus a whole to the power of one here i can have any term z minus a to the power of whatever any positive thing i can have in that case i'll get uh, uh, the value of this uh, uh, integral is decided by nth derivative of the numerator and it's related by this 2 pi i by n factorial you have to multiply f of f n of a so proof of this uses uh, clearly differentiation and integral sign and also it has to use cauchy's theorem cauchy's uh, cauchy riemann equations because after all f is analytic which means uh, we have to use cauchy riemann equations somewhere uh, but uh, i think your course doesn't have this proof so i'll not be giving you the proof in this course mm, instead what i'll do is i'll illustrate the use of this with not one example with several examples from examination point of view uh, how to solve these examples are very important so you must know this invariably in any exam in which you will have done in any exam in a course which has cauchy's integral formula or generalized cauchy's integral formula these kind of questions are definitely there so please go through these examples carefully so i want to evaluate this e power 2z by z minus 1 whole square over this curve mod z equal to 2 so mod z equal to 2 this is the curve uh, this is the circle we have already seen this so i will not keep on going to geogebra uh, this is circle whose radius to origin 0 uh, uh, centered at origin mod z equal to 2 means all the complex numbers which are at a distance 2 from the origin which means they are all the points on the circle with radius 2 uh, centered at origin and I want to integrate this so you compare this with uh, this Cauchy's integral formula which said this in that case uh, the problem in at hand uh, fz is e power z and z minus 1 whole square was what was there so n equal to 1 and a equal to 1 and fz is equal to e power z so try to I'm sorry I should have put both in one slide i think i missed it out so comparing with the formula one sees that fz is equal to e power 2z that is the numerator of the integrand and denominator is power of one single term one uh, linear term z minus a whole square so a is 1 and n is please be careful in this n is not 2 n is here 1 because i want to write this as n plus 1 2 is 1 plus 1 so I want to write this as z minus a whole to the power of n plus 1 where n is 1 and uh, I also want fz to be analytic inside and on this curve on this circle which is true e power 2z is of course analytic everywhere 
So, in particular it is analytic within mod z equal to 2 and a of course is within this circle a is this point 1 is inside mod z equal to 2. Uh, mod z equal to 2 is all complex numbers which are at a distance 2 from origin 1 is definitely inside that. So, uh, formula will I want to I will want to compute first derivative of f which is f is e power 2 z. So, uh, first derivative is 2 e power 2 z you have to use chain rule here usual derivative of e power 2 z is 2 e power 2 z and I want to evaluate this at z equal to 1. So, this a. So, at 1 this is 2 e square. So, general this is the formula. Generalized Cauchy integral formula will say that f 1 of 1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi 1 factorial by 2 pi i into integral of e power 2 z by z minus 1 whole square d z which means that this integral is equal to 2 pi i times f 1 1 and I have just evaluated f 1 1 to be 2 e square. So, the answer is 4 pi e square. So, uh, try to recall all we are doing is uh, we were asked to find this integral that was the question. I see that the denominator is power of a linear term and that linear term happens to be z minus 1 and that 1 lies within this circle. So, I can use Cauchy's integral formula which says that this integral is first derivative that why where did I get first derivative because the power of z minus a is 2 which is 1 plus 1. So, n equal to 1. So, first derivative of this at this a which is equal to 1. So, that is f 1 1 into 2 pi i by 1 factorial that is what we have done. It is as simple and straightforward as that. Yeah, okay. Let us see one more couple of more examples. So, here is another example which gives you which tells you integrate z square minus 3 z plus 2 divided by z minus 3 whole cube d z over mod z equal to 5. So, us as usual comparing with the formula uh, you see even before comparing with formula we must understand that I want to use Cauchy's integral formula here. How do I see that? I see integrand denominator of the integrand is a power of a linear term z minus a whole power something. So, n must be equal to 2 here and also the numerator is analytic inside this mod z equal to 5. Numerator is a polynomial function. So, that is definitely analytic everywhere. So, in particular over this inside and over this curve mod z equal to 5. Mod z equal to 5 means all the complex numbers whose modulus is 5 which means which are at a distance 5 from the origin. Uh, so, and 3 that is z minus a, 3 is definitely inside this curve mod z equal to 5. Uh, so, I can use uh, Cauchy's integral formula. So, then I have to compare with the formula and sees that f z is the numerator which is z square minus 3 z plus 2 a equal to 3 and n equal to 2 and of course, c is mod z equal to 5. So, now we also I uh, already orally told you that this function numerator is analytic within mod z equal to 5 and a is within mod z equal to 5. Uh, then I need to find the second derivative of f at z equal to 3. So, here is a second derivative. So, let us see first uh, let us take the <coughs> differentiate this numerator I will get 2 z minus 3 I inter differentiate it once more. So, I will get um, oh I should be getting 2 I written z here this is wrong. See you take derivative of this I will get 2 z minus 3 and derivative of that once more is 2. So, this is not z uh, I think I made a small mistake here. So, let me correct this. So, f 2 z is actually 2 and f 2 of 3 is 2 this is a small mistake I am sorry. <coughs> <coughs> How did I get this? You see you take derivative of this am I doing it correctly? You take derivative of this it will give me 2 z minus 3. You take derivative of that I will get 2 correct. So, second derivative is constant 2. So, in particular at 3 it, its value is 2 ok that is correct. So, uh, generalized integral uh, generalized uh, Cauchy integral formula says that uh, for n equal to 2 uh, this is the expression I will get f 2 of 3 is 2 factorial by 2 pi i into whatever integral I was supposed to integrate. So, 
so which means that this integral is f21 uh, pi i this is not 3 this is 2 so this is a mistake uh, one minute let me correct it when i'm there this is 2 so So please be careful with the numericals when I'm uh, giving when you are listening to my talk because I am liable to make these mistakes. But it's not very serious. I'm telling you the method. Numbers could vary a bit here and there. Now let us evaluate one more function. This looks pretty bad. E power two z minus five z divided by z plus one whole square uh, into z minus two, where curve where c is the curve mod z equal to three mod z equal to 3 means you should already see it it's a uh, circle who sent which is centered at origin and radius 3 clearly both the denominator points minus 1 and 2 are inside this correct if I, of course i'd still process this in the sense i'll see that denominator is not power of a single uh, z, it's not of the form z minus say whole power something it is it looks pretty bad it looks z minus a whole square into z minus b so if i want to bring it to power of a linear term i have to basically uh, resolve this fraction into partial fraction so this is that's what i have written here this is not in the standard form to apply the generalized formula which require the denominator to have a power of a linear term so what i do to overcome this i will resolve uh, this uh, uh, fraction 1 by uh, z plus 1 whole square into z minus 2 into partial fraction it's partial fractions so let me see if i have written the details so 1 by z plus 1 whole square into z minus 2 is a times usual way i'll write and clearing the denominators that means you multiply the whole thing by z plus 1 whole square into z minus 2 this is all this is what i'll get 1 into 1 into etc etc you take various values of z z equal to minus 1 z equal to 2 and then you will get an equation in a b and c also if you can take z equal to 0 for example uh, you will get these values you please uh, check these values are correct i hope i am correct normally i do it correctly but sometimes i might make mistakes so take these values z equal to minus 1 i will get value of b so that is minus 1 by 3 yes correct and take z equal to 2 these two will vanish so i'll get 2 plus 1 whole square is 9 so c is equal to 1 by 9 that's also correct take z equal to 0 so you please evaluate that you'll get some equations in a b c and you already know b and c so you can find out a and i hope i have done it correctly a is minus 1 by 9 so this means this 1 by z plus 1 whole square into z minus 2 is can be written as partial fractions like this why did i do this you see denominator has either a linear term or a power of a linear term so then i can use generalized cauchy's integral formula that is why that was the purpose of doing this so that means to find this integral i'll rewrite this integral as sum of three different integrals uh, now let us consider this curve mod z equal to 3 mod z equal to 3 so i am basically interested in knowing what happens to uh, these points uh, in the denominator uh, uh, denominator uh, minus 1 or plus 2 uh, what happens to them my z equal to minus 1 and z equal to plus 2 you see both of them are contained in mod z equal to 3 mod z equal to 3 is circle of radius 3 and minus 1 and 2 are definitely closer to origin than 3 so both these points are within mod z equal to 3 uh, but now you see you will have to use several different things uh, of course we know only three things we will i mean that is cauchy's theorem cauchy's integral formula and generalized so let's see for what i can use what so mm, for the first integral you see both minus 1 and 2 are content so all the denominators uh, inside this curve none of these functions are holomorphic or analytic this function e power 2z by 5 uh, e, sorry e power 2z, 2z minus 5z square divided by z plus 1 is not analytic inside this circle because minus 1 is contained here 
similarly this is not can, uh, analytic inside mod z equal to 3 because at minus 1 this is not defined and that is with well within mod z equal to 3 similarly this is not analytic in mod z equal to 3 because this is not even defined at z equal to 2 and z equal to 2 is within this circle so i cannot use cauchy's theorem here uh, but clearly for th this has power 1 and this has power 1 linear term so uh, like in the previous case also i'll observe that uh, the numerators are uh, analytic within this because this is after all e power something and polynomial so this is their sum is definitely uh, analytic so numerator is analytic on this curve uh, so i can use cauchy's integral formula for this and this the first and the last integral i can use cauchy's integral formula and for the middle one i'll use generalized cauchy's integral formula because the power e here is 2 which is n equal to 1 here in this case so let us carefully do this uh, so let's call f of z so what i have done is th this numerator i have called it as e power 2 z f z and uh, this integral will turn out to be uh, by cauchy's integral formula value of f at minus 1 so that you put those value equal uh, i uh, z equal to minus 1 in f z so f of minus 1 is whatever i have written there i hope i have done the numbers correctly and similarly for the last integral that is e power 2 z minus 5 z square divided by z minus 2 uh, over mod z equal to 3 is again cauchy's integral formula i can use and 2 pi i times f of minus 2 sorry this is must be f of 2 this is not f of minus 2 this is again one more mistake i'm sorry uh, there will be some of these kind of things i'm doing it all alone nobody's checked these things so I'm liable to make these mistakes, but it's not such a big deal. You put value 2 here, uh, I'll get e power 4. It's not e power minus 4. And 2 means this is correct. 2 square is 4. 4 into 5 is 20. I hope I'm correct. So please, if I'm uh, wrong, please correct yourself. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to use uh, Cauchy's integral formula for this. We know how to do that. Fz divided by z minus a dz is nothing but 2 pi i times f of a so f is here you put z equal to 2 in this that's all i have done here i hope i have done it correctly now uh, so let us see for the middle one use the generalized formula middle one means this is the integral for this integral i use generalized formula with fz equal to this a equal to minus 1 n equal to 1 so i hope that's what i have written here uh, fz is this n equal to 1 and a equal to minus 1 that's correct so then that means this is this integral is equal to 2 pi i times f dash 1 f dash because once only i have to differentiate so f dash 1 is you try to see what is f dash here it is 2 e power 2 z minus 10 z square you put z equal to minus 1 and i hope you will get this i hope i am correct so you just check that so in general not in general uh, this integral is equal to sum of these three integrals each of the integrals i have evaluated here i think this was the wrong thing this is not e power minus 4 but e power 4 rest of them i think are correct so i will not uh, bother too much you please cross check for the numbers so basically in this i can give you the summary for this integral i will use cauchy's integral formula for this integral also I will use Cauchy's integral formula with the numerator as f and a is minus 1 and here I will use f is this and a is 2 and uh, for this middle integral I will use generalized Cauchy's, Cauchy's integral formula with f is this e power to z minus 5z square a is minus 1 and n equal to 1 so that's what uh, we have done and that is the that is what we get here the integral mm, okay so this is another problem which uh, says integrate sine pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 whole square into z minus 2 dz imagine if somebody had asked you such a problem in your class 12 you would have got scared how does one integrate such a horrible looking expression so that too over what uh, c is mod z equal to half that means i have to tell you the contour so i am telling you mod z equal to half Oh, so there are more problems mod z equal to 3 by 2 mod z equal to 3 so there are three different problems here 
one is mod z equal to half one is mod z equal to three and mod z equal to three so these are the three problems three contours over which i have to integrate this given function so let us slow as usual i observe that denominator is not a power of a linear term so i will to use cauchy's generalized cauchy's integral formula i have to resolve this uh, appropriate fraction into its partial fractions so one by z, the appropriate fraction here is one by z minus one whole square into z minus two and that uh, i will not write on the details you write it as a by z minus one plus b by z minus one whole square plus c by z minus two and do in the usual way taking z equal to one and two and zero or whatever you want you evaluate values of a b c and uh, i you will have to trust me and i will also have to i think i have done it correctly no problem uh, so i'll write fz as uh, finally anyway i want to use uh, generalized cauchy's integral formula so i will use this uh, numerator as f so i am writing that and then integral of this is now that i have used partial fractions this is nothing but fz by z minus 1 minus is there those coefficients i got it because of partial fractions minus fz by z minus 1 dz minus fz by z minus 1 whole square dz plus fz by z minus 2 dz over the contour so uh, let us call these integrals this integral as i1 including that negative this integral as i2 this integral as i3 so let us evaluate them so in the first case that is when mod z is half both one and two, uh, mod z equal to half means again try to recall this means all complex numbers which are at a distance half from the origin which means this is a circle with radius half centered at zero both one and two lie outside the circle if one is at a distance one from origin and two is at a distance two from origin but here i want only points which are at a distance not more than half means equal to half and inside that means not more than half so both these lie outside the circle c uh, but then uh, this function is uh, analytic whatever fz is of course analytic sin pi z square plus cos pi z square is analytic uh, divided by z minus one in c within c c is mod z equal to half so uh, let me be a bit more care, clear try to be clear in this context you see this function fz by z minus 1 it is not analytic only at z equal to 1 which means uh, basically because it is this function is not defined at z equal to 1 if this function is not defined at z equal to 1 means uh, this function is not analytic only at z equal to 1 that means it is analytic everywhere inside c c is mod z equal to half correct mod uh, oh sorry i already gone to my place here uh, mod z equal to half that's what uh, this c is um, is the cursor uh, in this case mod z equal to half contains doesn't contain one or two so this function is analytic within c this function is analytic within c this function is analytic within c because this function is not defined only at z equal to 2 and that is not within this mod z equal to half this function is not analytic only at z equal to 1 and that point is not within c similarly this point is this function fz by z minus 1 is not analytic only at z equal to 1 and that is not inside c so each of these functions are analytic everywhere uh, uh, inside uh, within c and on c so I can use Cauchy's uh, theorem, which says that all of the, each of those integrals are zero, and hence their sum is also zero. So for the first contour, it was very easy. So for the second contour, same integral, I have written, rewritten the same integral. So this is what we want to find out. We want to solve this. Uh, this integral is this integral. We want to integrate along this curve. This function I want to integrate along this curve, mod z equal to three by two mod z equal to 3 by 2 means this is a circle whose center is origin and radius is one and a half but then one will be inside the circle and two will be outside the circle so if two is uh, so let us go carefully one is inside and two is outside so that means two is not inside the circle that means this function is analytic inside c so by cauchy's theorem i3 will be zero correct because 2 is outside the circle 
which means the function written in the integrand of the third integral i3 is analytic. So uh, that i3 will be equal to 0 by Cauchy's theorem. Now so that turns out that uh, simplifies our life that means we don't have to do that i3 we don't have to spend too much time on trying to find out what is i3. So this integral is just i1 and i2. Now for these this thing what do I do how do I integrate these I have to use Cauchy's theorem Cauchy's theorem I can use uh, Cauchy's uh, integral formula and generalized Cauchy's integral formula in the usual way I will use the first integral I will have to use Cauchy's integral formula because you see it is applicable you can see it is the uh, in the standard form and similarly for the second integral I will use generalized Cauchy's integral formula because denominator is power of a uh, linear term. Uh, so I will I'll be pretty fast in this. Uh, so this uh, I1 that the first integral is cos pi z square plus sin pi z square divided by z minus 1 dz. So which is equal to 2 pi i times f of 1. f is this numerator. So you replace z by 1 I will get cos pi plus sin pi. Uh, cos pi is uh, 1 uh, cos pi is minus 1 and sin pi is 0 so co cos pi is minus 1 so it will be minus 1 into minus 2 pi i so it is 2 pi i and similarly to evaluate this uh, the I use generalized integral formula which says I will have to take first derivative of this so let us see uh, this is fz with a equal to 1 and n equal to 1 because numerator denominator power is square which is 1 plus 1 so n equal to 1 uh, so I have to take the first derivative and the first derivative is basically you take a derivative of this cos pi z square derivative will be 2 z minus sin pi or oh, there is a minus here I have not written the minus here uh, here it should be minus here because you see this if you differentiate you will get 2 z sin minus 2 z sin pi z square that is term is here but with the plus I will correct that and sin pi z square if you differentiate you will get 2 co 2 pi where did pi come from pi z square uh, if I differentiate I will get uh, pi will come of course pi will come pi z square if I would differentiate the chain tool I want to use cos pi z square if I use cos pi if I ch use chain tool for cos pi z square I will get minus sin pi z square into derivative of pi z square which is 2 pi z so I will get minus term here I will change that I will change that uh, so this is minus So answer I suppose is correct because uh, at z equal to 1 uh, cos pi is minus 1 and this is sin pi is 0 so this will become 0 so it really didn't matter whether it was plus or minus that's why I have not <laughs> thought about it much. So if you put z equal to 1 here this will become 0 so it didn't matter really but actually I should have written this minus sin pi z square because I have taken the derivative of cos. So this is correct now I hope I am correct. Uh, so, so let me recall what we are trying to do. So we are trying to integrate this. We are trying to use generalized integral formula with f z equal to this. So I had to find f dash z and put z equal to one because a equal to one, and I want to take only one deriv first derivative because the power is two here. So that answer is minus two pi. I hope I am correct with this. If I am not, please check on your own. So i two is basically. Uh, 4 pi i square because it is 2 pi i into this 2 pi i into f dash 1 which means this into 2 pi i uh, is uh, minus minus is there here so it is 4 pi square i okay so i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so we have evaluated i3 was already 0 and i1 is here and i2 is here so I put them all together that's all mm. so in the next case when mod z equal to 3 uh, so this is the other case this is the integration we were trying to do 
in case of mod z equal to 3 that means I want uh, how much time do I have yeah I have 5 minutes I should be able to finish this uh, I, I want to integrate this over mod z equal to 3 which means uh, this is a circle with radius 3 uh, centered at origin and clearly both 1 and 2 lie inside c so none of these are holomorphic any uh, analytic anywhere within the c because bo they are not analytic at 1 and this is also not analytic at 1 and this is also no, this is not analytic at 2 and bo all both 1 and 2 lie within the circle c so i cannot use cauchy's theorem to any of these integrals but i can use cauchy's integral formula for the first and the last one because the power of the oh. linear term oh. is 1 it's linear term uh, and here the linear term has power 2 so for this I will use generalized integral formula so it's a standard thing what we have done till now only thing is you have to understand for what I will use Cauchy's integral theorem for what I will use Cauchy's theorem for what I will use Cauchy's generalized integral formula so these are the three cases in these examples I try to illustrate all these cases so uh, this is what we will use for uh, first and the last one we will use Cauchy's integral formula directly because power is 1 here and here for I2 that is the middle integral power is 2 so I will use generalized uh, integral formula so I, in the usual way you do I1 is equal to 2 pi i and I2 equal to 4 pi square i this is what we have done already because it does not matter as long as this point is contained within that contour the same values will go through uh, you please do these problems once on your own uh, so this is what we will get i1 i2 i3 and i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 which is equal to this particular uh, number 4 pi i into because it's 2 pi i times all this so i'll get this so try to recall what we were trying to do in case of mod z equal to 3 for this first and the last integral i could use Cauchy's integral formula for this I have to use generalized integral formula I think I am running short of time I will stop here uh, thank you for listening uh,